Hey guys, what's up? So this is my painting video, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm painting a pair of shoes for my friend, and she's really into pink, she's really into zebra stripes, and she really likes the idea of having some sort of a picture uh, come together whenever both the shoes are put together. So what I'm doing is I'm actually painting a pink butterfly with zebra stripes, and one wing is going on each side, so when you put your feet together, it makes the whole butterfly. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm painting a white base coat on, I'm going to call them panels, on the panels that the design's going to go on. Uh, you might ask, why am I painting white on top of a white shoe? And that's because with Tom's, especially, the texture is kind of it's really really rough it has a lot of fibers and it, it's kind of almost porous so by painting the white base layer you actually smooth everything out so you'll get a lot more control over your painting area and you'll have a crisper image in the end now I'm painting the back back panel and uh, I painted the wings on as you can see and that is not exact at all. I mean, I lightly penciled in the wings, but since I know I'm going to be painting black on top of it, the edges I'm not necessarily concerned with. I'm not trying to make them perfect. <clears throat> Whenever you're painting on shoes, you have to be very, very careful about... Um, you know, going from the side of the panel all the way down to the sole, and you want to try and make everything as crisp as possible. Uh, whenever you're working on a, a canvas or something, you can kind of be a little less careful, and you can worry more about the art. But when working with apparel, you have to always keep in mind that you want it to look professional at the same time no matter what kind of artwork you're putting on there. So even if your design is um, messy, I guess, you really want to pull it off professionally. And so now you can see I'm painting over the black. And with the black, I'm being a lot more precise. You can see the lines are a lot more crisp, um, the stripes and whatnot. And so like I was saying earlier, you didn't have to worry about the edges on the pink because you're using the black to define the edges. So now one's done, I'm working on the other one. And you always want to work uh, from left to right if you're right-handed or from right to left if you're left-handed. Um, you do not want to run the risk of having your hand smear something that you just painted, especially on apparel, because like I said, you want to keep it looking as professional as possible. So as you can see, the concept is coming together now. You can kind of see um, both of the wings are defined. Uh, whenever working on a concept like this, I always had to try and keep in mind that the shoes obviously need to work together because that's what she wanted to have, half of a design on one shoe, half on the other shoe. But you also have to be conscious of how the design is going to work on each shoe individually. I mean, you don't want to have something really cool whenever it's together, but it, whenever you take them apart, um, it just looks weird, you know? So, always keep that in mind as well. I'm also putting a text on the back, live and laugh. Uh, these are just really important t to my friend and to me, and uh, we always tell that to each other. So, I'm putting one in each shoe. And with text, you have to be very, very, very careful. And take your time, especially. And now I'm basically spraying it with this shoe spray, which is water and stain shield that you can get from, I'm using the Vans brand. Um, but try and find any like waterproofing spray that you can. And this will really, really, really help in protecting it in case it rains and she's wearing the shoes. You don't want to run the risk of having... Um, all your paint smear and run and all your designs uh, get messed up so there you go